Good morning, morning scramblers, scramblers and climbers. climbers. Rod and Jen here. Okay, Rod, what do we usually do at the beginning of every session? The scramblers prayer. So are you ready? I'm ready, yes. Okay. When, when I, I touch, touch my, my head, head I, I think, think of you, you Father God. God. When I put my hands over my heart, I say that I love you. When I put my hands together, I ask you to come and make everything right. When I point to my mouth, I ask you to give us the food we need. When I bow my head, I say sorry for the wrong things I've done. When I lift my head, I know that you forgive me. When I open my arms, I ask you to help me be friends with everyone. Are you ready for the big Amen? What is our story about this week? Is it more about Joshua? Well, sort of. Our story shows about how God is with us and he has plans for us. But it's also about Joshua as well. Hello, my name is Rahab and I live in a big city called Jericho. My house is built into the strong city walls. Can you see my bedroom window? When I look out my window, I can see a large army camped outside the city walls. Lots of people stay at my house. Some of them are travellers who bring news from all over the world. It was probably from them, I think, that I heard about Joshua. That's the man leading the army and the most powerful God that he and his people worship. Jericho seems to be full of soldiers at the moment. One day I met two new people. They were strangers, men I'd never met before, and they were asking many questions about our city, Jericho. I soon learned that they were spies sent by Joshua to find out all they could about Jericho and the people who lived there. Although this was dangerous work, they told me that they were not scared because God was always with them and Joshua had told them not to be afraid as God had a plan for his people. I told them that many people in Jericho had heard about how powerful God was. The spies were amazed. I became aware that soldiers were making a house-to-house -house search looking for the spies. I got them to hide on top of my roof under some drying plants. When the soldiers knocked on my door, I sent them off in the opposite direction. Once it got dark, I helped the spies to escape out of my bedroom window. They promised that they would look after me and my family. We arranged a special signal so that Joshua's soldiers would know where we lived. Look at my window. Can you guess what we used as a special sign? Yes, that's right, a red scarf. And when Joshua's army came, neither our family nor our home was damaged. We were able to live happily with God's people for a very long time. Did you like our model? We had fun making it. Now it's your time to make something with Pauline. She has an exciting craft for you. And if you're successful and you like it, why don't you get an adult to take a picture of your craft for our Facebook page? It would be lovely to see what you were doing. Bye now. Hello, scramblers and climbers. Nice to see you again. Well, today we're going to be following on from Jenny and Rod's story about the walls of Jericho. And we are going to make the walls themselves and Rahab, here's Rahab here at the top in the window, and two spies. Now Rahab is smiling, the spies look a bit worried, so they've got very straight faces. We're going to make the walls of Jericho with Rahab's house, and you will need two sheets of A4 paper folded in half. 
like this. And then we start by doing the top of the walls, which is sort of almost like a bit like the top of a castle, but they're big old stones. And we're going to make the stones as well, draw the stones. First of all, we cut out the bits, the bits at the top so that it really does look like the proper walls of Jericho. Then we're going to turn the paper around and we're going to, first thing we're going to do is to make the window. This is the window to Rahab's house. So as you can see, her house is really inserted into the actual walls of Jericho. So that's the window. Hopefully in a little while you'll see some light shining through it. And this is the rope down which the spies climbed when they were trying to escape. So first of all, you have to mark out the big stones that make the walls. So what I did was I, I made lots of horizontal lines across the page, followed by some vertical lines, which you'll see in a minute. So here comes some, here's some vertical lines, and you'll see that they represent great big chunks of stone, big heavy stone walls that kept people in and invaders out. So it's a good idea to mark round the actual window so you can see it more clearly. I'm just using ordinary markers here. And I'm going to use them also to highlight the lines of stone after I've done the rope. So this is the rope leading down from Rahab's window. It was probably quite a thick, quite a thick rope so they could get a good enough grip on it. And these are the top of the walls. and the big chunks of stone. Not very easy to invade Jericho's walls. Then we turn over and we follow the lines, turn over the first sheet of paper. The other sheet of paper is still folded underneath and we line out following the lines on the first sheet so we again get the same same walls, same big chunks of stone following on from the first page. Here we are coming to the end now. We move that page to one side and mark out the page underneath on the left hand side. It's quite important that you follow exactly what I did. Then we put the two pages back to back and fold over the edges. And soon you will see the beginnings of the walls and my house. You'll need some sellotape, easy to get to cut that off in advance. So that's how we position That's the second page attached to the first page, just as I've shown you. You can probably do it a bit more accurately than me. Then the first page was Rahab's house and the window in it. So I'll take that 
together. Now this is the third piece of paper, you've put the, the, the walls to one side. We're now going to make the figures, so they'll be Ray, Rahab first, followed by the two spies. So I folded the paper, the A4 piece of paper in half, and cut off the bottom section. So th these dimensions are just about right for your window, because Rahab is going to appear in the window saying goodbye to the spies because she's a very special lady and she has saved them. She knew that God had a plan for her. So you can colour colour Rahab in whatever colours you want. And I'm also going to colour in the window with rays of sunlight um, behind her her figure when she's up there. So obviously Rahab was of Middle Eastern appearance. Yep. And she would have had dark hair. Here we are. So when you've finished colouring Rahab in, and it's easier to colour before you cut out, then you can fit her into the window. You need some sellotape at this point. Take a piece of sellotape and fold it so that sticky the sticky bits are back to back so that you can stick her, stick the sellotape to, Ra, to Rahab and the sellotape to the wall at the same time. There she is. If she's a bit bigger than the wall, just chop her down, low, lower down. Now we're moving on to the spies. The rest of the paper, you fold over, draw a picture of a spy on one side, and then you cut out the, you cut it out, and there'll be two spies. Easier again to colour before you cut out, but I was a bit, a bit sort of distracted at the time, so I cut out before I coloured, which is a bit more tricky to do. They're looking a bit worried, both spies, because of course they've got to climb down from Rahab's window and of course they could get caught at any time, so they're a bit, a bit worried about uh, how things are going to turn out. So they've both got sort of unhappy, worried faces. And you can take your time colouring them in marking up their faces so you can see them. You can colour colour them in with whatever colours you like. They've got robes on because that's what they wore in the old days. Worried spies. she's been able to help them. She knew that it was God's plan to be with her and God has been with the spies because he is always with us wherever we are. So there we are, they're on their way. Hope you enjoyed following that, it was a little bit difficult at times but uh, anyway you can have a bash at it. Rahab was special because she, she helped God's people. Right, now we're going to move on to the song and Doggy is going to be singing I am special because God loved me.
Thank you, Doggy, for that lovely song. Now we're going to say our prayer, and then I'll say goodbye. Dear God, thank you for always being with us and looking after us. Amen. See you next time. Bye. Christchurch, 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 you more than, oh yeah.